Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we're in Plano for a burger that's definitely not Plano. In fact, we're getting two of them, one that's wild and one that's buff at the Ye Old Butcher Shop. On the north side of the sprawling mass of Metroplex, you'll find Plano in plain sight. And just two blocks from the middle of downtown sits a small meat market, simply known as the Ye Old Butcher Shop. Sorry, I had to say it that way. I love Ye Old Butcher Shop. It sounds so, like, I feel like this needs to be a tavern, too. <laughs> Very yeah, old yeah. English, you know? Yeah. No beer here, though. Jeff Sparks is a renaissance man when it comes to meat, and he got his start at this butcher shop back when he was still in high school. Now, what made you walk in here in 1979 and get a job? I come in here in ag co-op, you know, where you work half a day and go to school half a day. Whenever I started cutting meat, I wanted to be a butcher, so it was it's a lot of fun. Former owner Mr. Bob Gideons gave the Greenhorn a shot at being the big slicer in the store and sold it to Jeff in 1986. Five years later, Jeff had an epiphany while packing meat. Why not cook this stuff? We already have the meat here. We might as well make the food. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we always wanted to, you know, start smoking meat and making hamburgers, and making sausage. We started making our own sausage, and uh, yeah, people liked it. But their biggest draw, the burgers. During lunchtime, we do sell a lot of burgers. It wasn't long till Jeff enlisted the help of his boy Joshua, and together this father and son duo have teamed up to make massive hamburgers the people of Plano have never peered at prior. Someone had told me, you want a good burger? Ye old butcher shop. And they didn't lie to me. It's good, so I'll come back. The food's really great. I don't know, it just has a different taste to it. We headed to the I back with bacon. Joshua. But as we got ready to bring home the bacon, we couldn't help but overhear Jeff taking orders. All right, you'll be looking at my 36. All right. 36. Hey. Buffalo, all the way. Cheese with cheese. Yep. Fries or tots or onion rings. When did we get to the auction? I'm not as fast yet, but I'm close enough. Fries or tots or onion rings. That's part of his stick. He likes to do that. He's part of the attraction of coming to this place is listening to him, you know, call out taking your orders. When I order burgers, I, I have to stop him in the middle. He does the lettuce, tomato, pickle thing so fast. I just have to say, no, 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 I'll get it my way. We're about to get two burgers our way because the EO Butcher Shop is known for the Buffalo Burger and the Wild Hall. It's a ground pork patty. It's got some uh, Black Forest ham on it and it's got a little, couple of slices of bacon on it. It's a really good burger. Bacon on a pig on top of pig on top pig of on pig. Pig on top of a pig on pig. Yeah, a lot of pig there. As for the Buffalo Burger, that is the mainstay here, and it's been around since 1993. Dallas Cowboys were playing uh, the Buffalo Bills, and so we started uh, making uh, Buffalo Burgers. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it so it all started with the Super Bowl. The right? Super Bowl. <laughs> we were eating buffalo. Joshua doesn't waste any time throwing both burgers on the grill. So what are we starting with? Uh, we're going to start with the buffalo and the pig, and I'm going to work right to left on the grill because that's how I'm always tied. So. All right, let's throw it on there. So the buffalo patty is how big? The buffalo, they're almost a half a pound. Half pound? Yep, pretty wow. close. What is going on in that pig patty? I see all sorts of stuff in there. Oh yeah, that's got bell peppers, the red, yellow, and uh, green bell peppers, and we throw some garlic in it too. Oh man. man, it is good. The buns are toasted. Oh yeah, we gotta butter the buns. Of course, these are brochet buns that come from a uh, company down in Dallas that we get to, we get our buns from. I never know what to call it, brioche or brochet? Or... I don't know. I just know they're better. And the meat press, it's better too. You can't be a burger joint without having a Texas burger press. No, you can't. <laughs> Once the meat is cooked, ham and bacon hit the wild hog and both are topped with cheese, onions, a tomato, lettuce and pickles. And you do get your choice of mustard or mayo. Yeah, mustard. <laughs> Come on now. What do you think this is, France? Canada? <laughs> Heck no. And we're done. Oh man, and there it is. The wild hog and the buffalo. Quick, easy and simple. I wish everything was like that. Yeah, me too. Buffalo dad took his son to school yesterday, and he dropped his son off at school, and he said, bye, son. <laughs> hey -o. Hey -o. Well, here we are with a Texas bucket list twofer, a buffalo burger and a wild hog burger. What do we start with? We'll go with the regular, the buff, something that's available every day here at the Yale Butcher Shop. And just look at that brioche bun glowing in the sunlight. The burger that put the ye old butcher shop on the map. Well, let's go running with the buffalo. It didn't take long to figure out that I hit the jackpot. Buffalo! That meat is so good. It just tastes 
fresh. Once you taste it, it's, it's kind of hard to go back to eating beef. It's just really good stuff. On to the big pig, the wild hog. Not sure what to expect on this one, considering it's pig on top of pig on top of pig. Beautiful. Well, it's time to put the boar in the boca. There's only one thing I can say, and I don't say it often. Sue! It's obscenely good. Well, the wild boar provides a very light meat with great flavoring in there with that garlic and pepper. You put on that incredible bacon and ham, and you have just got a pig explosion. Hog, it's a magical animal. You're getting ham, you're getting pork chops, you're getting pulled pork and ribs, and you put it all on one sandwich? How can you go wrong with that? It's always good to get back to our roots every once in a while. I strongly recommend it. Just come after we've already had our lunch. This old meat market is more than just a place to get your grub on. It's a connection to the community. Thanks to the bond between a father and son, continuing a tradition together. He's kind of learning the trade really well. He's coming along fine in the business. So hopefully both of us can carry it on 40 more years. So whether you feel like getting buff with a bison or hog wild with a wild hog, either one is a great pick. Making the ye old butcher shop in Plano, Texas well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. To know that the next generation is preparing to take over this is awesome because that means you're gonna have quality going forward like we have today. There's very little of old Plano left and it just gives you a good feeling to help support some of our history. I, just, I love working with my dad, so he, he's got a lot of knowledge. He's a very smart man. The only somebody I can hope to be. Mm -hmm.